Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Rachel Miranda Emerson, Bardstown, Kentucky. Greater heights, deeper depth, divine times. We are in a time of greater heights and deeper depths, a time of greater partnership with Holy Spirit. We must trust the plan ahead and move in bold and active faith. As we yield our own ideas and desires, the Lord himself is plunging us into our divine destiny and purpose. This is the Kairos and Kronos timeline, where there is an arrest of uncertainty and the measure of quantitative time appears in your life. Nothing can stop what God will do and continue to do in and through you. It is more than the crossing of a threshold for the body of Christ. It is marked for the golden glory age that is here upon us. It is leading us to the fullness that is to come. We cannot look back or long after what used to be or what was. The Almighty is delivering His people. The grand exodus of exchange is here. We must keep our eyes upon the Lord and live ever so closely to Holy Spirit, who will lead and guide us in all truth. I saw in the realm of the Spirit, that the next seven days will be the powerful, pivotal days of the new year of God's calendar. We will encounter our great Deliverer and step into the place of divine destiny and purpose that has been prophesied about in our lives. He's calling us to fast and to pray. In this time of visitation, the water will break, and what needs to be birthed will arrive, and it will thrive. I decree Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 that we trust in the Lord with all of our hearts, that we lean not on our own understanding, that we acknowledge him in all our ways, and he will direct our paths. I decree Ecclesiastes 3.11 as it assures us that God makes everything beautiful in its time. We may heed the call to fast and pray, just as in Joel 2.12 and 13, for this is a time of visitation. God will birth and empower his purposes in our lives, leading us to thrive in the golden glory age that is upon us. We fix our eyes on the Lord. We follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit as the grand exodus unfolds. Romans 8.28 reminds us that all things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Friend, let's pray into this word right now. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this time of greater heights, deeper depth, and divine times. Lord Jesus, that we would look at our week and we would say, Lord, have your way in our week. Lord Jesus, allow the, the prophecies that have been spoken over our lives, the words that we have been clinging to sometimes for years, Lord. May this be a week that we start to see them come to pass. Lord Jesus, that you would direct our path this week in a new way, in a fresh way. Lord Jesus, that we would not lean on our own understanding, but maybe this week, Father, what we've been believing for will become beautiful because this is the time. Lord, I thank you for the time of visitation. I thank you that it's always available, but maybe this next week, maybe this next week, God, is a special time, Lord, that we would look back as a bookmark in our life, knowing that this week we experienced greater heights, deeper depths, and divine times with the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, amen and amen.